Close your eyes, focus on your breath. Watch the breath all the way in, watch it all the way out. Try not to lose track of it. Stay right here. The breath is like a medicine for the mind. If it's nice and soothing all the way in, nice and soothing all the way out, it helps to get rid of some of the itchiness and scratchiness in the mind. The minds need to go running around someplace else. You can say, stay right here, and the mind feels soothed all the way through the in-breath, soothed all the way through the out. And as with any medicine for the mind, you put it on and you want it to stay there for a while. It's like putting a cream on a rash. You don't just wipe the, put the cream on and wipe it off immediately. You've got to put it on and let it stay there all day. So if you can stay with the breath all day, it's soothing for the mind. It takes care of all those, the rashes and all the cuts and scratches and bruises and wounds in the mind. We tend to think that the, these cuts and scratches come from people outside, the things that other people do and say that hurt, hurt the heart, hurt the mind. But it's actually we're the ones who are making the, the scratches and the openings to begin with. You may have noticed that when we start with a ceremony on taking the, ref <coughs> the refuges, the immediate next step is taking the five precepts. You make a vow that you're not going to kill, steal, have illicit sex, you're not going to lie, you're not going to take intox intoxicants. Because that's where we find refuge, that's where we find our protection. If you break any of these precepts, you've basically made a little hole in your mind, make a wound in the mind. If you do it repeatedly and not try to observe the precepts again, it gets really deep. It becomes a big open sore. And no wonder the mind can't stay in the present moment, because every time it focuses in the present moment, it runs into the open sores. So you have to realize that the main damage of the mind is not what other people do, it's what you do. Breaking the precepts by thinking, getting involved in thoughts of greed, aversion, delusion. Anything that's unskillful, it's, it's like putting a wound in the mind. And then if someone else comes along and they've got germs, well, you pick up their germs really quickly. If they hand you poison, the poison can go right into your hand. So you've got to make sure that you're not wounding your own mind. What other people do, that's their business. You have to remember your, your mind is what's shaped by your own karma. And if you pull other people's thoughts and words and deeds into your mind, okay, then you're actually wounding yourself. It's not They're not the ones wounding you. You're the one that's doing the wounding. So this is one of the reasons why we take the precepts is as medicine. One of the reasons why we meditate is also as medicine for the mind, to heal up those wounds so they don't leave any scars. So the next time something really irritating comes by, it just goes right past because there's no open flesh to be exposed and irritated by the irritation. People can say things, they can do things. As long as you don't leave yourself open and exposed, okay, you're okay. It goes right past. It's when you're open and exposed through your own greed and your own aversion and your own delusion, that's when outside influences can come in and they can cause damage. So you want to make sure that you're taking care of what you're responsible for. And as for what other people do or say, that's their business. As John Swat used to say many times, each of us has only one person, i.e. ourselves, that we're really responsible for. We try to help other people, and we do as much as we can. But there comes a point where what they say and do and think is totally beyond your control, in which case you have to develop equanimity and focus back on what you can control, i.e. what you're deciding to do right now. So make sure your focus stays right there and that you're not wounding yourself with your decisions. Because some of these wounds, they take a long time to heal. But it's fortunate we do have the medicine. The Buddha was like a doctor. That's what the Four Noble Truths are all about, telling us where the cause of our suffering is. It's from our own craving and our own ignorance, our own clinging. Okay, but then also we can develop the qualities inside that cure that suffering by putting an end to the cause. So the path is like medicine, and particularly as we're meditating right here. This is medicine for the mind, soothing medicine for the mind. So it gets rid of the rashes and all the other irritations that we've allowed ourselves to infect ourselves with. 